Hey guys, uh, sorry my last video cut off. Once again, not paying attention. Uh, so I was Triskelion playing the Halloween hack for Earthbound. Uh, I found what looks like Dr. Andonut's uh, lab in this nightmare fuel land or whatever. And as soon as I walk up, this is the message I'm greeted with. It's making your heart pound. It's making your heart pound. Matt, just getting near the door is making your heart pound. Reality is becoming an illusion. The sea and waves are out of sync and the world's lights the world's light has gone and hid. Only the dim pulsating pain in your cold hands keeps you alive. And beyond this door is the greatest evil. The monster you saw before the monsters you saw before you were no doubt mere shadows to the one inside the metal coffin. This is it. This is the end. Matt. Huh. Not really sure if I want to just move forward. Absolutely certain that I have gotten in way over my head. Oh, it's Andonuts. This machine is warm to the touch. There's some sort of ebb inside of it, like a belly of a pregnant demon. Hmm. Yep. Beep, beep, beep. Mr. Brick Road, the dungeon maker referred you, right? Nope. Did not encounter him at all. And not only that, what? Who, my son? Oh, I can't. I can't believe it. Oh my god, are we Jeff? My son is dead. I killed him. Oh. That's right. They're all dead. Every being in winters. Every being on earth. No. Every being in the universe. I sent them back in time to perish. If I can't be with them today, what have I lived for? My life is meaningless. So I made... I made... Heh heh heh. They... There... Have you... Oh, jeez, he made all the monsters I've been fighting, huh? Oh, God, you've come here to kill me, haven't you? Ah, uh, I don't, don't, d don't kill me. I, the monster, and you, you, the hero. Gasp, gasp. That's right, you're going to kill me. Your eyes are full of murder. Your, your, oh. Those eyes. Jeez, it's like I'm reading a Sweet Bro and Hella Jeff comic. What is even happening here? No, those eyes came back. Uh, I can't even see my character's eyes. He has like emo hair in the way. So you came back. Well, gasp. Gasp. I've just finished the prototype of this machine. It generates a metaphysical realm in the mind of the user. Wait, came back? I came back. Who was I, though? Oh my god, am I playing as Gygus? Oh, jeez, this game is trippy. Uh, probably not Gygus, but still. I call this realm Magicant. Uh, emphasis on the cant. Uh, Magicant was a completely different place than this. Deepest dreams in your utmost fears. Inside lies ultimate peace. The world is dead, and I've become senile with guilt and rage. Please, please let an old man rest in peace. Leave me. Oh, jeez. Oh, let me just go look at things. Uh-oh. This is the last. As you slide your frigid fingers across the warm, thumping machine, the sense of the monster is stronger than ever. The monster's pungent odor invades your nose and fills your lungs. Finally, right there in front of you, 
and you can feel the knife in your pocket. It's cold and hungry. There's a monster here, and you have to kill it. Your legs want to move, move toward the monster. Matt, Matt, you know you always have a choice. You've always had a choice. So what do you want to do? What do you do, Matt? Devil killer, Gigas destroyer. What do you do? Whoa. Matt, that's not an option. Choose something real. Oh, wow, so that's intentional. That's right. That's what you have to choose. You hold the knife high and deftly sink it into the machine. The beating becomes faster and your heart begins to burn. You stab it again and again. Blood starts to pour out onto the floor from the slits you've made in the machine. The machine is banging, banging, and yelling, yelling. The monster is trying to escape from his own coffin. You can hear it crying from the inside of his little cage. He's screaming for help, for mercy. Ah, you thrust your knife into the machine. And after a long scream, the beating stops. Both your hands and face are blood red. You rip open the door of the machine and the monster slumps out onto the floor. He's curled up into a ball, oddly rigid. A sound of metal clanky echoes deeply in the quiet lab. It's perfect silence. You have nowhere to go. Your legs are gone. Your arms are gone. Your mind is gone. You did the right thing, Matt. It's really brave of you to make that choice. We need people like you to make decisions like that. You're a true hero. The end. Ha ha ha. Is that it? That doesn't seem right. That, uh, that really doesn't sound right to me. This should not be the end of it. What did I even stab? I don't know what the monster is. Sounds like I'm the freaking serial killer here. I'm the real monster. What's going on, though? Hmm. All right, well, uh, that's it for me, I guess. Uh, see you guys next mission, or whatever.